integrating technology into the classroom using SAMR. SAMR is a model that helps you as an educator make informed decisions on what and how to integrate technology into the classroom. The model supports and enables teachers to design, develop, and infuse digital learning experiences that utilize technology. The goal of SAMR is to transform learning experiences with technology to enhance learning. The first level of SAMR is substitution. Substitution involves doing the same thing you would do without technology and does not modify the task beyond the use of a technology substitution. We often use this when we are creating and integrating technology into our teaching. Some examples of substitution are textbooks to ebooks, paper quizzes to Canvas or LMS quizzes, handwritten papers to type papers using a software program, in-class discussions to using the online discussion board, traditional lectures to video lectures, handing in assignments to emailing or turning in your assignments via the learning management system. The second level is augmentation. Augmentation involves some functional improvement, but it is still a substitution using a technology tool. The task is still the same, but the technology functions add some additional improvement. Some examples are using hyperlinks in emails or documents, using text-to-speech to read or write, using a survey tool to ask questions and gather information, using interactive rubrics in Canvas for students and for grading, using interactive whiteboard tools, creating presentations using PowerPoint, Pages, Prezi, Sway, etc., using bookmarking tools such as Pinterest, Dig, Flickr to catalog or bookmark or compile information. The next level is modification. This is where you use technology and it allows for a significant task redesign. The outcome will be the same, but the enhanced products such as your assessment or activity will have changed. Some examples of modification are multimedia creation tools such as using VoiceThread or creating videos um, or screencasts through Screencast-O-Matic or Camtasia or Vidgrid. Using collaboration tools that allow for shared knowledge and joint construct such as whiteboards or MindMeisters or collaborative mapping tools. Creating documents, videos, or web pages that include different multimedia elements such as insert learning where you can go ahead and take a web page and insert quizzes and discussion boards or play post it which allows you to take a video off the internet and add additional questions so while a student is watching it a question will pop up and they will answer it. They can post video presentations and other tools that they create and use the discussion board not only for peer learning but to write learning reflections and to share their products. They can create wiki pages with links, videos, and images. You can create a flipped classroom. Students can also create infographics or use timeline tools that use text, video, and audio links. The last level is redefinition. This is where the technology allows for the creation of new tasks that were previously inconceivable without technology. Some examples are... Designing of the floor plans, mapping things, designing different tools using technology. Social media, using Twitter or Facebook or Instagram for assessments or activities in your classroom. Collaborative concept mapping, where you use different mind mapping tools that students can work on together. Creating e-portfolios to share their products and information about themselves with future employers or even with the university or your program directors. Using multimedia tools that utilize various tools to show content, such as Explain Everywhere, where you can not only add videos to your screen, but you can write on it, add tags, you can create different things using one software tool. Using Skype or Zoom for classroom teaching or to create virtual field trips. Or you or your students could create animations using Powtown, Animoto, or Videoscribe. You can also use Nearpod to create presentations that allow you to share your presentation to your student's device and you can use your device to forward the slides, to have different quizzes, interactions, and engagement pieces in that 
all the while students are looking on their own devices and not on a big screen in the classroom. You or your students can also create iBooks or interactive documents. Augmented reality and simulation and virtual reality are all something that we have here at iXL. They can also collaborate on wiki documents using different technology tools to enhance it, such as on a wiki document, you add videos, links to websites, and other information. In this first example, the original assignment is to create a presentation. So a substitution would be to create a linear PowerPoint or a keynote presentation. An augmentation would be to use Prezi to create a nonlinear presentation. Modification would be to use the Prezi or the PowerPoint and record a video presentation with audio. And redefinition would be to create a video presentation with an interactive quiz embedded. The next original assignment is to research and take handwritten notes. So a substitution would be to research using the internet and take notes on your computer. An augmentation would be to use a bookmarking tool on the internet browser. A modification would be to use Live Binders, which is a software tool, to save links and documents and to be able to annotate information on that site. Redefinition would be to use a collaborative tool like Digo to curate, annotate, and share notes with other students or faculty. The next original assignment is a handwritten paper. So a substitution would be to use a word processing software and type a paper out. Augmentation would be to use speech to text and word processing software to improve the writing process. A modification could be that students upload their paper to the LMS, ours is Canvas, for peer review to get feedback. A redefinition would be to create a multimedia video. A paper quiz is our next original assignment. So for this original assignment, a substitution would be to use the LMS quizzing tool to administer the quiz online. An augmentation would be to try out Kahoot, which is a live quizzing game to administer the quiz during the class. A modification would be to ask your students to create flashcards on Quizlet. A redefinition would be that students would create a wiki document covering the material. I need to do two slides again because they have collaboration and I don't want to. 